Hello, Harvard, yo! <laughs> I don't know why I say what that. Is that? Anyway. It's from uh, School Rock. Uh oh. It's uh, AMF 1534 here, your host of all the things in the God of War, Chains of Olympus, along with my co host, Lige. The jumper. Yeah. Jumper? <laughs> God. So, we are at the docks of Charon, or Sharon Stone, or however the hell you want to pronounce the name. Who cares? We're here. Let's bang a gong and get it on. I.e., you should bang the gong so we can get it on. Fucking last name. There you go. <laughs> it's a really weird sounding. Yeah. <laughs> Ring a ding ding. Man, that shit was I know, right? Dude, this guy is bad as hell. Literally, he is so tight. In the sea of blood. Oh yeah. I would love to go take a dive in there. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> I ain't taking that boat to Mexico okay. for a cruise. I would take the boat to I did. In third grade. Got seasick. Oh, is that the one from the part of the Oh. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, the room key that I still have. <laughs> Me. <laughs> the only thing that makes him less intimidating is that mask he's wearing right now. That makes him more intimidating. Or the fact that it's just like, it's like hovering over his face. Yep, so now we gotta fight Mr. Uh, Mr. Sharon Stone. We get to fight Topanga right now. I wish we were... Actually, no, I would never want to fight Topanga. She's a saint. Yeah, so pretty much just to try to avoid the scythe at all costs. That thing does not feel good. Searing the flesh off of your very body. I'm not trying to have any bone storm going on right now. The bone saw. I hate bone saws. Watch out for the orbs, that shit hurts. But you can still hit them with it. It's kind of one of those uh, stick and move type of bosses. As goes with pretty much every boss in this game, I guess. It's not really any bosses that I can think of that you're really designed to just stand there and go toe to toe with them because you usually will lose that way. But yeah. Sharon Stone with the long with the long gray hair right now. Must have been using that just for women hair uh, hair grayer. All the dudes like that. Oh shit. Yep, there we go. There we go. Oh. I think that you can really only get like can you get all three of those yeah. if you have the right timing? So I don't think I've ever gotten more than two. Yeah, yeah, Charon or Sharon or Sharon or whatever it is that you like to pronounce his name like, because I don't really know what the accurate one is. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's rough. You probably got to be a nice, sizable distance from him, though. I feel like. Don't you get like a? I think you get a health bone, like a health dump from him, and a right about half dump. Fuck. Shit. Not trying to die right now. You see, this is exactly why you need to be able to, you know, get your distance from him. There we go. And now he's up there. Yep, all the way back up the pole. Ah, I fucking forgot how to do it. What? Is there like a way to glitch that out or something, or what? Oh, there's a... Oh! It's later, it's on the second one. Yeah. Because he kills you no matter what on this one. Yeah, by the way, there is a second fight now that you guys know. <laughs> yeah, there's... You're inevitably going to have that happen no matter what. Now we're at this place. The other major zone in this game. It's Purgatory, also known as Corvallis. Yeah, also known as Free Life. Yes, Chain Gang. I wonder what that was actually for. Is that just break out of the chains or something? 
Let's find out, shall we? Since this is a 100% run, we do need to keep up on this stuff. Chain gang. There you are. Right below Persian History X. Am I like... No, down, 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 down. There you go. Yep. Break the chains of tartar sauce. Tartars. Tartar Another one of those. Yeah. So... French tickler. <laughs> the French tickler? They're going to start you out with pretty much no health at all, as you kind of noticed already. But... If you go and kill all the townspeople that are... Fuck them. Yep. Just fuck them. Hardcore. No prisoners, no pain, no gain. When you kill them, they give you life. As shown here. Life and the red sauce. Yep. And break these. Yep. Life and marinara. Yeah, you do want to break those too. That's kind of an important thing to do as well. Actually, they, I found out they're okay. They just give you red. Exactly. Well, that's, but that's important. But that's good. Yeah. That's yeah. Even if it doesn't seem like it's important, damn yeah. right it's important. And these here are not... Uh, Breakable. Uh, break yep. Only the ones that are in the ground that you can actually hit. With your... With your fingers of a Mexican. Shabazz. Yep, off to go slay some... I like how they're all women in here, too. Well... See that? They're women or they're just emaciated dudes. That is quite the retaliation move there. Yep. That's, uh... That's the thing I love about archers. They're about as weak as it gets for... for an enemy. You can literally they just grab them the once. Yeah, that's exactly why they're the ranged guys. They don't... They were too, uh... too wimpy to be able to do anything... normal. Yeah, they weren't like these dudes down here that are at least, like, formidable. Should have gotten that magic, son. Yeah. God, that would hurt. <laughs> I love that. Just catch them right as soon as they stand up. Yeah. If anybody watches this and thinks there's no variety, I like the uh, winning variety. Yeah. I think the only variety in this game that matters is not dying, so, you know? If you want the if you want the nice and pretty using every move in the in the book thing, then go watch it from somebody else. Cause I mean that's tight for sure, but I'm kind of like yeah, you got to do what you got to do to win. There's not any formula for beating God of War. You just got to do what works. As goes for really any hack and slash game. I mean, think about like uh, think about games like uh, Gauntlet Dark Legacy or any of those or any sort of game like this. Dante's Inferno. I mean, you're not using all every move in the book on that either. You're yeah. doing every fucking thing that works, which is usually the same shit. You're throwing projectiles and you're hitting people moves. over and over and over again, because that's what you must do. There we go, dude. How about fucking LSU winning? That's so bullshit. Uh, are they like done? Oh, I'm sure they are. There was only four minutes left when we turned it on like an hour ago. Where the souls of the I will look to make sure, though. I know, right? However, good things do come out of it, though. Yeah, they won 19 to 6. Dang. Dun, dun. Uh, yep, the depths of tartar sauce. We are here. And now we get to deal with these little avian whores. I can't stand them. Do we need to get like a thousand hit combo during this somehow? Somewhere? Huh? There's gotta be a room in here somewhere that they give you the tools for that, because I don't feel like this is the room to do it. Really? Nothing? Yeah, that's one of those times that having the lightning storm would have been really cool. Or whatever they called it. I don't even know what they really called it. Yeah, you're getting... They're getting some footage on you right now. Fuck, man. There we go. Yeah, nice clean combo. Yes. Perfect. God, I hate how they're all just, like, uniform. They're all just kind of like, eh, we're all going to stand exactly the same distance away from you. There we go. 
Yeah, now you're all dead. Thank God. Major pain. God, I wish that movie was on TV right now. I wonder what the game would be about, really. Like how it. The other school. Well, yeah, but that only goes over. Like, I can only see two parts of that movie that would happen. Like the uh, when they go to try to steal the trophy yeah. from the place and they get their asses reamed out of their face, and then um, fucking the actual JROTC games. Right. Well, I mean, uh, maybe like. The... Or like making the fart cut or like the shitting cupcake. Yeah. Dude, that'd right. be so funny. He'll be making beef stew till graduation. He's a <laughs> Yeah. And then, dude, that fart that he. Unleashes with the kit with the uh, with the freckle face cartoon walking by. Yeah. Oh boy. And another pain in the ass. Yep. Yeah. See that? Yeah, that leather that leather suitcase. Got a million laughs in there. So funny. Are these all archers? Sure were. I can give them the slick Rick right now. I know there's like a bigger bad guy in one of these. There Maybe is. I, have to come back. I know that like three rooms from now there's a lot of them. Oh, fucking bitch. Yeah, a little slut. Take him out. Man, so, those fucking hard things are pissing me off. You should probably go over there where that uh, magic box is and deal with that. And then once you get over there, then we can probably call it good for an episode. Because we're sitting around 12 minutes right now. Barely. God. Little slut bags. Little Buster Rhymes, man. Right, that's it, that's it. Well, get that box at least. Might as well. Yes, yeah, so when we come back on the next episode of Let's Play God of War Chains of Olympus, we need. <laughs> He's gonna do just it. One. Just, just do it. <laughs> I just did <didn't> yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, just one jump. We'll uh, go back over there and deal with that guy who's, like, pulsating right now on the other side of the screen. And then we gotta go get further into this, uh, into this torture chamber of fun doom. So, I will see you guys later.